Hey yo, okay, so we're at Lime Limehouse Conservation Area in Halton Hills, I think it is. Um, so that's the entrance, I guess. Don't follow the actual maps. The maps takes you through up that way. Uh, this is, I guess, the parking. It's uh, interesting. You got a one way or one car bridge here. Uh, north entrance. Oh, so there's probably more too. Well, I don't know. Main entrance and parking is located on Fifth Line at South via Limehouse Park. Huh. Well, I guess that's where the uh, parking is. Okay, so we're coming up and there's a map. So let's check this out. Oh my God, they got a whole bunch of information on here. Oh, Nelly. Um, there's ball diamonds, I guess, at the normal parking. So we're there. So we came across the little bridge there. Oh my gosh. Kiln remains, hole in the wall. Looks pretty big. The, oh, it says the Bruce Trail is two kilometers. Which one's the Bruce Trail? Red? So that, that's by far the longest. Or maybe that black one, the Black Black Creek side trail. Probably go to the hole in the wall area and maybe to the parking. Let's see. See how far we get. Nice little, uh, Little bench there. Continue on our way. Okay, so we're coming. Crossroad. Uh, that way it looked like was the ah, the side creek trail. There's lots of buggies in here. So we're gonna go this way. It looks like there's some kind of rocks down there. So we'll see how it looks. Oh. We got a little prison. I don't know. It said kiln. Killer? K K A. Wow. K I L N. So you got one of them here. That's pretty cool. I guess that's, so I guess that's the normal trail and this is just to look at this. So we'll head up back up the staircase, I guess. That's kind of creepy. Okay, so back on the trail, walking. We got a nice fence here. I say nice, it's not really. Fence is also a stretch. But Bruce Trail, uh, continuing on our way. I don't know how many more of those creepy buildings we're gonna see. Um, but there's some historical thing. It was uh, 1850, it said it was built. So that's pretty cool. So coming up to another remains. Wow, that is definitely seen better days. Oh, that's kind of cool. Really big building. So this is where the Bruce Trail Avengers. So we're gonna go this way because I think that's where the rapids are. And then maybe come back this way. We'll see. I don't know. For all I know, this is just the trail. There could be no trail there. I don't know. But got a nice little walkway here. Stay on trail. Well, that's kind of sucks. That picture thingy is ooh, all bundled up. Oh, yeah, it looks nice besides that. That. Ooh. I don't know if it was falling apart, they just didn't want people to walk on that. Looks pretty cool. Alrighty, continuing on our way. We are, um, I looked at the map. We're almost at the crossroads for Bruce Trail and uh, the Black, what is it? Black Creek on side trail or something? I don't remember. Something like that, some side trail. Those are the B. Oh, this is nice. Huh. Okay, so Black Creek side trail. We're gonna continue right here. Go and check this hole in the wall area, it says. Alrighty, coming up to, oh my God, there's so many freaking moths in here. Coming up to another divergence. So that is the old rail trail, something like that. Old trail bed side trail or something. Ooh, we're gonna go this way. Nice little walkway. Very, very mucky though. Walking on a bridge in the woods. Do, 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 do. Okay. So we should almost be at the hole in the wall area. Like that game show that they filmed it just up here. It's pretty cool. I don't know how they got all their equipment in the forest all the time, but 
determination, I guess. Okay, so we're at some divergence here. That looks like it might go straight to the road. This, I think, is the hole in the wall area. So I guess I gotta check, climb up there and check it out. Okay, so we're up here. And I guess that's the hole in the wall. Hella creepy. But it looks like that might be the way. That's the, that's the Bruce Trail. <laughs> that's awesome. There's a little thing above it. So I guess I'll go pop in there, check it out, probably head back. It is slippery. Wow. Freaking ladder. Huh. So that's why I'm gonna turn around, but that's pretty cool. A little creepy, but pretty cool. And uh, make my way back through, I guess. Okay, so going back down the hill, gonna head that way go to the road walk back to the car uh because i don't want to explore this place too much because i'll be here for the bruce trail and so i like i like the bruce trail like being a nice surprise um so we're gonna go down head to the road walk back to the car that'll be it all righty on the way to the road another trail here there's so many unmarked trails in here you could easily get lost but i mean if you walk far enough one direction eventually you'll reach the road okay do these signs say anything important I'm gonna guess no area may be monitored by surveillance okay and it tells you what you can do here no horse riding okay so we're gonna walk that way a bit and uh oh bruce trail parking Inside Limehurst Park. Okay, so we're gonna walk this way for, I don't know, 500 meters ish, go to the car and be done. Alrighty, here at Limehouse Memorial Hall. Uh, that's where I'm gonna end it. I'll do a review at some point. I don't know when, but like it was, it was a little creepy, but it's all right. Okay, bye. Alrighty guys, review for Limehouse. Doing this almost two months after I recorded this stuff because I apparently forgot to do uh, record the review. So, um, it was 16 out of 20 for scenery. It was pretty nice. There was those, um, the kilns or the, the little buildings where they made the, um, clay, I think it is. Um, that bridge was really nice. That rock bridge. I wish I had had the covering on and stuff, but it was pretty nice. Entrance, four to five. Uh, apparently there's an actual entrance that had actual stuff there, opposed to where we entered from. I recommend. Uh, location, eight out of 10. Wasn't too bad, it wasn't too far out of the way. Like, uh, it was very close to Georgetown, which Georgetown, it's, I wouldn't say it's big, but it's like, it's a decent sized little uh, city there. Um, yeah, it wasn't too, too far out of the way. Popularity, seven out of 10. Um, it, it seemed very busy. There's quite a bit of people walking around, it, especially the secluded area we were in. And I would see pictures there. Services three out of five. They had kind of like in the main entrance there. They had a bunch of stuff going on. Uh, we didn't go check it out because we didn't go in that way. But definitely, probably should one day. I guess when I do the Bruce Trail through there. Yeah, okay. look at that. Uh, but yeah, they had a whole bunch of stuff going on there. Um, fun nine out of fifteen. Is all right. Uh, going through the rock part was kind of creepy, but kind of cool at the same time. And then climbing up the ladder is pretty sick. Difficulty nine out of fifteen. Most of it was relatively flat, except for that part where I went through the rocks and stuff like that. It's all right. Length, 8 out of 10. Um, I apparently didn't write it, but it was 30 minutes, so I'm assuming it was probably like 3-ish kilometers, 2 to 3 somewhere that we hiked. Um, safety, 7 out of 10. Overall, it was pretty safe. Like, that bridge was really safe. The, the wood one that we went on. Um, and there wasn't too many... Like, the only dangerous part, again, is that rock area where I went through, but it's like, you could easily avoid that. Um, so overall, I get to 71 out of 100. Pretty good. Pretty good. Definitely need to check out the rest of the park. Maybe I'll do that one day, besides when I do the Bruce Trail. We'll, see, we'll do the Bruce Trail and then see how it goes through the park, and then we can redo it if I need to there. But uh, that's it for me. Bye.